What's up everyone? In this video, I just wanna walk through a quick way to mark tasks as completed or incomplete on a simple checklist app. I know a lot of you starting out are just starting out with this type of project. And I just wanted to go through a quick, easy way to flip through completed or incomplete using um, one workflow. So I'll jump in, we can see we have our kind of a task list here and we can add a task and say new task and if we click save, oh, it'll appear down here. Um, but we need to add the functionality though. So when we click this, it actually marks itself as complete. So let's go to the database and have a look and see how that looks for us. So we can see here we have a task and we have the content, which is a text, and we have whether it's completed as a yes, no type. And the default type we'll put as no. So it starts off as not completed. Now let's go back to our editor. <laughs> and see here what we have. So we have an icon here, feather icon, which is a icon library that you can download using a plugin. And we have it set to square, so it's just an empty square. And then we have on top of it a group. And let's call this group completed. Great. And so we're gonna mark this group as yes, no. And we're gonna say the data source is no to start off with because it's not completed. But if it is completed, so if parent groups task completed is yes, we'll actually mark the data source as yes. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this icon and say, okay, if the parent groups um, completed is yes, so if, if the data source is yes, then that must be that the task is completed because we put a conditional here that said, if the task completed is yes, then change this data source to yes. So here what we'll do is we'll say, okay, if parent groups, yes, no, and that's the data type they have is yes. So if the data source here is yes, then we're actually gonna change the icon to a, we're gonna change the type of icon to a check square. So that'll be a square with a checkbox in it. So let's see, check square, perfect. So now we have to actually implement the logic to change it in the database so it's actually reflected here. This is where the fun trick comes in. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make changes to this task, to this thing, parent groups task. And the thing we're gonna change is whether it's completed and instead of actually having two workflows to check whether it's completed or not completed and then change it the opposite way, what we can actually do is actually say this task completed is no. And what that's gonna do is gonna t check whether this task was completed. And if it was completed, it's gonna change it to not completed. And if it wasn't completed, it's gonna change it to yes. So it's gonna change it from no to yes or yes to no, basically flip the current status. And so now we can actually go ahead and using that simple workflow, we can see that if we mark it as complete or incomplete, we can essentially mark our tasks. And that's just an easy way of actually marking a checkbox um, in Bubble with just one workflow. So thank you for watching. If you like my videos, like and subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm gonna start doing a little bit more Bubble Basics videos or check me out on Twitter and Deso. And if you want access to my editor for this project, um, there's a link in my description where you can buy access. Thanks for watching.